1221 has passed and the world hasn't ended. And the prophet Micah, a poet, a dreamer of a new future, restored and prayed for the restoration of all of those who lived in the world in his time who were bored, those who were distracted, those who were fatigued. And somehow he said, I trust in all my heart that the greatness shall reach the ends of the earth. The greatness of the Lord shall reach the ends of the earth. And God shall be our peace. Advent is about removing the things that make us slave to the sadness of our world. They keep us enslaved to the greediness of our world and to the attitude of the survival of the fittest, which so often can touch our world, our society, our community, and even our churches. Somehow these, all these attitudes keep us from being people of joy and people of expectation and people of hope. 1221 has passed, but the promise of the Lord is still here with us. The world is transformable. We can change the world. A new heaven and a new earth. The uncaring and the harshness of the world can pass away. But we're told we know that God's word will never pass away. And so today, Mary goes and visits Elizabeth. Elizabeth, who was barren, who was old, who was tired, and who had failed in her life to give birth but it was the power of God, the power of God in that promise that stayed with Elizabeth. And she saw that power of God and she understood that power of God. And somehow she believed that everything the Lord spoke to her would be fulfilled. But Elizabeth becomes a symbol of our world. so close to Christmas. And I guess we would ask ourselves the question, will God find any room in our world? Is there any room for God in our world? Mary's yes says, I will give you room, God. I will give you room. But we know in the life of Mary, we know the life of anyone, that there's an enormous price tag that comes with saying yes to God. Enormous price tag. An enormous price tag for Mary, an enormous price tag for Jesus, the God who became flesh. That's an enormous price tag. But God was vulnerable just like us. Subject to the same uncertainty that we are. Subject to the same difficulties, the same trials. But 1221 has passed. But there's an enormous price tag for us this year. Because we need to look at a world that is tired. Tired of war and division. A world that is old. Or at least the way the world works is old. The rich continue to keep the poor at a distance. It's not just gated communities, but it's gated hearts. The world has often failed. We know that children are killed. 
the very womb of our culture that should give birth rather to violence and anger rather than new life. And sometimes the world seems rather barren. We just lack the imagination to transform our worlds. 1221 is past, but with God we are told all things are possible. And the birth of Jesus, so close to us within a couple days, allows the world to leap for joy, to stir, to feel that stirring within our lives. And it gives flesh to our dreams. It gives flesh to your family. It gives flesh to your own personal dreams and hopes and expectations. And as you allow that to give birth to you, hopefully the next date of fulfillment for you is 12.